Hi, welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to install Arclinux on VirtualBox, of course, but it doesn't matter if it's on VirtualBox or on the real thing. It's the same procedure. You go to Arclinux.info, download the ISO, burn it on USB, or in this case, put the ISO in a VirtualBox environment, and then boot up. You'll get a graphical installer, which is nice. Always nice to just click, have, I think, five screens and then have a system fully installed. So we have the Calamaris installer. This, that's what you're looking at. You can change the Calamaris installer by changing the language to Dansk, for instance, or anything else. And you'll see that in here, Calamaris will change its language. So that's the Calamaris language. You can always check what version we are on and uh, 3.2.4 at this point in time. The seven is my package number. So it's the 3.2.4. Next is the GOIP. So it pinpoints where you live. And if it's not working, it just means that the site it points to is um, under maintenance, for instance. And you have to just select it here or select it here. And then the time zone is set. You can always change the system language in here and change some more or the numbers and the dates for the locale thing you can change those as well. If that's all set, you need to choose your keyboard. In my case, I'm going to go for an Azerti keyboard and go next. And then it all depends what you have. If you never have installed, you can't install anything alongside. So if it knows that the first time you ever installed it, it just says erase disk and manual partition. But since I've already installed something, I can say, let's install something alongside. When and why would you do that? Well, for instance, for Windows, that's one thing. But also, if you have already an Article Linux B installed or D installed, and you would want to combine it with um, Article Linux. So that's a choice you can have. You can drag this thing up here and down here. So you say more or less 50-50 um, or not. You can replace complete partition if this in this case just one partition so click and that partition is being replaced but what i most often do and i recommend you do is use just one operating system on an ssd this is virtualbox so it uh, is probably going to be one anyway but also on a hard disk now this new version of calamaris gives us a new choice we have here the possibility to have no swap and that's the Graphically, it means everything is red and there is no swap available. But if you would like to have a little bit of swap, but no hibernate, then you can do so. We have in this case eight gigabytes in uh, RAM in this virtual box. I have in total 16, eight for the virtual box, eight for uh, the host. But basically you can say, I want to have a little bit of um, swap available, but you can't hibernate them. And this one is, well, the 8 gigabyte of RAM plus a little bit more and margin, 10% margin here. So my memory can actually be written in the swap so you can go and hibernate your system. So if you say never use hibernate ever and I have enough memory, then give it a try. Erase disk, no swap and everything is now all red. Just one big home partition. And here we have uh, the possibility maybe then to make a smaller partition since we do not need to do it like this was like it used to be. So we used to give away eight gigabytes for swap. So we can have 22 maybe as hard disk. Anyway, just a virtual box. What's your name and systems name? Password for the user Eric. And if you want to log in automatically, you can do so. This is XFCE you're looking at. So you're logged in automatically into XFC when you reboot. Use the same password if you want to use a different one, you can do so. And if you say no, I'm gonna keep it simple, the same password for my root account, and then next, and then install. And we're off. In the meantime, let's go to one of the major things, and that's this link here. It's up here for a reason. Arclinux hello is there, 
and Vivaldi is now the standard uh, browser at this point in time in this release of March 2019 and I recommend you go to this website because um, it gives you an oversight what Linux is, what we do, what um, learning phases there are, why you would you learn, want to know anything about Linux D or Linux B, what are the differences, we try to tell you what it's all about, this Linux project. And if you want to chat with, with us at some point in time, you can. We have uh, a Discord invitation that's in here. So here's an article how to install Discord. Here's the link and you'll be up and running in no time. And you can talk to us and other users and ask questions. Talking about questions, you need to know that there is a forum. Um, that's one thing. And in this forum, you'll find lots of information about uh, topics that are important in the sense that we do not want a distribution that's filled with frustrations and all that, but it comes with a, a learning curve like any uh, distribution, I suppose. And there are a lots of facts we have here. And what's all the questions you might have, and this is one thing, how to avoid frustration forum fac known issues and their solution there are these are elements that uh, contain so so much knowledge so first take a peek there and then and also take a peek on other websites as well because there's lots of knowledge and it's always on in those um, links up here let's see yeah still busy keep talking so articlenex.com is going to be about XFC, Openbox, and i3. This is the learning phase one. It's the big ISO, as we call it, and that's the one we're installing now. And um, it's going to be about lots of things. We recommend you start here, work your way, because there are also bias problems, maybe, uh, seven-step installation guide, lots of information. But then it goes more into categories. So you figure out what you need to know, something about a uh, virtual machine it's something about the design here are the virtual machines file managers more that if there are things to learn often it gets a little technical in this thing but we make a video an article so it becomes less technical so if there are fixes to be learned we have uh, solutions but you do a search and then you search for anything and there is also down here the categories you can have a look as well and looking for the tags so there are articles written like for any desktop so there are things that apply on anything really even on linux right not just arc linux or arch linux i recommend you um, think out of the box and not think in a distro it's just linux in general you can learn a lot of uh, on forums of ubuntu or Arch Linux or Manjaro because it's always going to be similar and the only thing you need to do is say okay what's the difference what how is it changed in here in Arch Linux slash Arch Linux so that's ArchLinux.com then we have ArchLinuxD.com is where you go to phase two and phase two is where you say I want to okay there you are I'm gonna um use the Linux D ISO and then on the basis of that it's a graphical installer all nice but when you reboot you have a black screen like in Arch Linux which is phase 5 and then you start downloading scripts and running scripts of course you need to change the scripts but that's phase later maybe eh? first you you start installing our scripts and then later you say not gonna install Firefox I am gonna install Chromium do not want GIMP, etc. So you delete those lines. That's phase two. But these things are the elements you've learned, Arch Linux, XFC, Openbox, i3. That's on the big ISO. But then we forget about these desktops and we'll go to Tiling Window Manager, Tiling Window Manager, Budgie, Cinnamon, Deeping, GNU, Mate, Plasma, and another Tiling Window Manager. And in phase five, that's something totally different. In phase five, we are making our own ISO. So you decide what goes on the ISO. It's a tutorial you can follow. And well, it, the end result is that you have an ISO without Firefox, without GIMP, without Inkscape, and you boot it 
up and it's it's your thing it's your selection of applications that's something entirely different so that's another phase and five a phase for <laughs> five is arch linux it's going to the arch linux installation the arch way going over bias ui5 phase two three and in the end you choose a desktop and again of course the same desktop since article mix is based on arch linux you there are very many and there are hundreds of, of similarities and we see that basically we saw that in the link let's go back to the link here there are so many similarities between arco linux and arch linux why it's based on these guys right but visually everything that's red is arch and everything that's arco is blue meaning our arco linux has has a lot of arch packages settings configurations but we tweak a few of them and we have our own beautiful system that's the point no yes restart done let's reboot <clears throat> then you scroll down well in virtual box you say second line if you're on a real thing and real installing on our or sd you pull out your usb and what you see you'll see this come up that's your grub which is nicely themed as of 2019 March and then you boot up you have an auto login in XFCE so basically this is what you get when you boot up again and then it's up to you to use the system and try to learn how everything works how is this Arch Linux B oh, sorry how is this Arch Linux well because this is XFCE Openbox NI3 in one go so the point is to first try out uh, xfc that maybe learn open box and even if you have um, if you want to go for i3 or window tiling manager you can and it's as simple as just clicking here and saying okay let's log in choose up here login control t and here we are now on i3 and if you want to log out it says here super x so s super is windows super x you get this red thing down here and you say okay log out it's gonna log back in to open box just for the fun of it and then you have here open box all in one system all the files still are the same your videos are still work the browser is still set but it's still it's something else right it's a complete different uh, desktop environment super x again and log out here and back to xfce and we are back where we started this is at linux enjoy our system it's a beautiful graphical uh, system and um, well enjoy it and uh, see you on the net